Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy. If you're new, then welcome. Glad to have you. Um, today I'm going to do a quick, it's going to be a very quick Goodwill haul video. I'm going to try to do like uh, three videos back to back. I'm going to do the Goodwill. I've, um, I should have combined this with a yard sale because I didn't get in very many. So I think I might combine this also. So it'd be Goodwill and a yard sale that we did today. And, um, and then I'm going to do some unboxing. So, but let's start with Goodwill. So last Wednesday, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday, I had to take my niece, she was in town, so I took her, I had to drop her off somewhere and there was a Goodwill right next door. So I thought, oh, I'll just pop in and see what they have. Um, I did have a coupon that if you spend $20 or more, then you get 20% off. So I was able to do that. So one of the things I got, and this has to be cleaned, it's one of these jewelry caskets. I love this. It has a glass top. As you see, it's really filthy. It has to be clean. And it has the gold velvet in the bottom. Really nice, nice piece. Um, and then I got this little, <laughs> um, it says porcelain plates. Uh, and this is modern, but I just thought it was cool. I like the box because so it looks like a cheese box and it has all these little plates in it that are um, different types of cheese from France. So there's Brie de France or Brie, Brie de France, France, I'm not sure how. Um, and then it has Camembert and it has um, I'm not sure. Fromage Agricole. All these cute little cheese plates. Um, this would be nice for a little, you have a little party with different types of cheeses. And this was another Camembert. Really pretty, colorful place. They all fit really nicely in this little box. Little paper box. I thought that was a nice find, so I picked that up and put this away the way it came. I just love this. I don't. I just love the box. So hopefully I can peel the sticker off without doing too much damage. I hope. And then I got another box that says Camembert, and this is just an empty box that I'm going to use um, just to hold my crafting supplies. It must have had something in it at one time. I'm not sure because it has different pictures. But I really like the box, so I bought that, and I'm going to keep it for moi. Um, I got this wood fish um, hand-painted. It could be a Mexico piece. It could be South America. It has a deer, I think, in the front and also in the back. There's a tiny little chippy there. It could just be painted, but I thought that was really cute. Nice, oof, <laughs> nice little fish. Really lightweight, really pretty. Um, I got this little, I think it's a seal. Seal or a, um, what do you call these? Get the sticker off. Let me see if it says anything on the back. See how cute that is? I think this is soapstone. Um, I think it was made in Canada, but I'm not positive. Um, I can't read it. Handmade in, I believe it says Canada. But isn't it cute? And that feels like soapstone. Pretty sure that's what that is. And then I got this brass deer. I did pay up for it, but, but I had to get it. Nice brass little deer laying down. Got some nice texture on him. You know me and my brass. <laughs> and then um, I got a box of some stamps, and again for my crafts. So I got some all the crafting supplies today, and these are um, letters. So it has it has numbers and letters, and they're little stamps. Um, 
It has the letters on the top. So they are all individual. And then it has some little paw prints. Um, whoosh. I don't know what these are. I have no idea if anybody knows. Could be for thread, maybe. I don't know. Um, and then it has a stamp that says happy birthday. And it even has like some ink. I don't know if it's still good. So I thought that was a nice little find. And then I bought a bag of corks. Again, for crafting. I might put some of these in some craft lots too, to sell. I know um, Helen does little, her little um, gnomes with corks. So, got those. And then um, last, but definitely not least, look at this. This was the amazing find of the day. Isn't he just awesome? Elvis Presley crochet doll. <laughs> I thought this was just amazing. Just amazing. The work that went in this. Can you believe it? My God. <laughs> so I had to get that. So I'm going to keep him for a while and enjoy him. Look at him. He even has little ears. The hair, I don't know what you, the hair is really fuzzy, but the rest of it is all crocheted. The eyes are embroidered. It's, he's got like, like little glass eyes. And all the sequins. Oh my God, he's just amazing. Just love him, love him, love him. So that was my Goodwill finds. And it's so funny because I had him in the cart and some guy goes, wow, you're brave getting that one. <laughs> but I'm like, I'm sure somebody will like him as much as I do. So, so that was my haul for Goodwill. Um, I'm going to stop this, and then I'm going to show you what I got at the yard sale today. It was, I think, just a handful of items, if even that. So I'll be right back. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, yard sales. I only got three items. Well, I got more. I got some clothes for myself, but only uh, three items for resale. One was this old-timey pencil sharpener. I have to figure out how it goes on. I think it will stay on. So you mount it to the wall. Yeah, that should work. I don't know if that stays on, but well, I'd have my husband look at it and see, make sure that it's okay. Um, but I thought that was pretty cool. It says Boston on there. So I picked that up. I got this little uh, giraffe box. It was made in Poland. I thought that was nice. Has a uh, little velvet inside. Really cute. You know me and my boxes. And then I got this glass pumpkin. It could be modern, um, but nonetheless, I thought it was really cool. So I picked that up, and that was it. That was uh, that was the yard sales. Um, whew, it's hot in here. Um, so yeah. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm going to have a sale on Sunday tomorrow with Sabrina from uh, Simon Says Let's Make a Deal and Leanne from Leanne, um, see, Crafty Kitty Vintage. They've both been on my channel before, but we're going to have, it's the first time all three of us be on together and maybe Kathy will show up, Kathy from the Kitchen Cow. We'll see. I don't know, but maybe, I hope. Um, so, and then I'm going to be going on vacation pretty soon, so... Anyways, um, until next time, I'll see you in my next video.